and we are joined with Numlocks, the top laner from Choke Gaming. How does it feel that you've qualified for the finals for tomorrow? Uh, it feels great. I mean, we were kind of expecting to. Um, so, I don't know, not, not really much else I can say other than that. We were expecting to be here tomorrow. Yeah, of course, after such a smooth kind of sailing through not only your qualifier matches, but through the group stages, I can, I can understand that uh, it's gone quite quickly. Uh, so, can you describe your pick and ban strategy for facing off against your workmate today? Um, a lot of it was really focused on the jungle. We were um, expecting to get the Warwick. Man at all. Um, so we knew in the first game we were definitely going to get Warwick, and obviously with the pack that it had, they didn't let it go through to the second game. Um, so we knew with it on the um, purple side, we didn't have to worry about them first picking it because we knew they'd have to ban it against us. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, so in the first game, it was quite one-sided. What do you think kind of contributed towards that? Um, like I said, I think a lot of it was the Warwick. Um, he managed to actually get a lot of counts ganks off, which is kind of strange for a Warwick, especially against a Pantheon. <laughs> Um, but he was, you know, he was there mid lane, he was there at the blue buff, he was there at the bot lane. Um, he was kind of everywhere he needed to be. And we kind of just ignored the top lane because we knew that um, Yorick would just beat Lissandra in lane. There's not really much that um, Lissandra can do against the, the Yorick. Um, so we just had the Warwick focus on two lanes and that made it a lot easier for him to be where he needed to be. Makes a lot of sense. Also, DX Alchemist uh, got very fed very quickly. Do you think that contributed as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, he was playing Ari, I think? Yeah. So uh, having a fed Ari is always nice. Um, we always had that pick pressure. They, it was a lot harder for them to contest bust because as soon as they came too close, you know, they'd have a walk on, the, on them, they'd have an Ari on them. You know, it's a bit scary. Yeah, for sure. And uh, in the second game, you actually took Dragon at about roughly around three minutes. How has Patch 420 kind of like affected your game, your your team's kind of decision making in, in the game now? Um, well, we obviously we were aware of how high a value Dragon is, um, and it kind of really threw us off by the fact that they were prepared to give up the Dragon pressure um, just to get the lane swap, which, I mean, the lane swap itself didn't really make much sense for them because we had a stronger um, 1v2 top laner, um, and Maokai beats Aurelia um, in the, against the bot lane. Um, so we kind of got everything we wanted, thanks to their mistake, um, so we couldn't really complain. Nice. So also during the first game, I actually heard the team, oh, you what, mate, shouting, let's focus Zodiac because uh, we want to destroy his KDA. He's got a, currently a KDA of 31, I think. Uh, what do you think makes Zodiac such a strong support player for you? I think it's a super strong uh, AD carry he's got in the bot lane with him. Um, no, I, he's just, he plays really um, solid supports. He's a, he just understands the lane. Like, I don't really know much about bot lane myself, but he's got a really good champ pool. Um, he can play literally anything you throw at him. Um, so we don't really need to worry about bot lane at all. Excellent. So uh, later on, we have their next semi-final match. We've got uh, per Perilous Rift versus FM Esports. What are your predictions for that game? That is going to be a really close game. That could. That, I think that's going to be three maps. Um, I kind of think Rift will win, um, but it depends because they they quite, they tilt quite a bit on land. Um, so as long as they don't tilt, they can get it. But I think it, they will tilt. <laughs> so it'll be close. Well, we'll have to see. That's coming up next. Thank you very much for joining us, Numlocked. And uh, now we're going to pass you over to Panky, 